Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Denis Zaychenko and the telephones had appearances on our channel two occasionally. I even started to get lost in company's budget models, which is a shame because company has almost the best selection of budget models, at least in terms of uniqueness. How cool is it? Let me explain using the example of Nubia Neo 2 5G, Nubia Focus 5G and Nubia V60 design. All of these phones cost less than $200, all have 256 gigs of internal memory, a screen refresh rate of more than 60 Hz, a screen size of about 6.7 inches, both Type-C and NFC, dual camera modules and a battery of 500 mAh or more. They also have the same CPU manufacturer, finger print scanner in the power button and even the same Android skin my OS. However, you can already see for yourself how much these devices differ from each other, starting with design. Therefore, now I'll tell you about each of those models separately. But before I start, I would like to remind you that you can support our content by liking, subscribing and pushing the bell icon. Comments are great too, but you can support us financially using the support us button on our main channel page. And now? Let's begin. And begin we will with the most expensive model. The Nubia Neo 2 5G in a 256GB version costs about $193 or 173 euros. As you can see by yourself, it has the most aggressive gamer-like design. This is helped by a Full HD Plus display with refresh rate of 120Hz, Octa-Core SoC Unisoc T820 with Mali G57 video core and a fast UFS 3.1 memory. This phone is scores over half of a million points in N22, meaning you can play any modern game at least on a minimum video settings. If you think uh, the score is too low and it surprises you, let me remind you, this phone costs less than $200 and you still can get 120 FPS in games. Add to this Android 13 out of the box, a 50 megapixel main camera, Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5.2 support, as well as up to 15 hours of battle life in PC Mark battery test and a charging speed up to 33 watts. The only thing I don't like about this phone is the location of power and volume buttons. This is the only smartphone out of three with the volume buttons on left side and power on the opposite one. I know people who absolutely loves it, but I'm not one of them. Also, this is the only smartphone of three without a mini jack. Next is Nubia Focus 5G which costs $170 or 150 euros for 6 256 gigabyte version. Yes, the screen is HD, but it is still 120 Hz. Yes, the memory is still fast UFC 3.1, but the RAM is 2 gigabytes less, although the possibility of expanding still remains. Yes, the N22 result is not that impressive. Yes, the battery is little smaller, charging is little slower, the processor is a little less energy efficient and the result of PCMark battery test is correspondingly weaker. However, Focus 5G has several things to compensate with. I personally like the design much more. It frankly looks like a flagship, both restrained and advanced. It will be more suited for a much larger number of people than the aggressive gaming design of Neo 2. The second great thing is camera. It is a very good in its price. 108 megapixel model with 4K video recording. The Neo 2 can record Full HD video only. So in my my personal opinion, camera's place in a giant round design element is more than justified. And finally, the third model, Nubia V60 design. This is most traditional budget phone with no claims to be a flagship, but with a hint of you know what. That's not bad by itself and it is guaranteed to find a clientele, especially with a touch of unique, albeit specific, rainbow tint in a camera unit. Especially considering the cost, which in version 6, 256 gigs is without discount a uh, $136 or 120 euros. This amount of money grants you 90 Hz display, a set of cameras almost similar to Nubia Neo 2 5G, although the frontal camera is worse, 8 megapixel versus 16, Android out of box is 13, uh, video recording is also full HD, not 4K, and the N22 result is on the third place.
this among others. The charging speed up to 22 watts and the battery capacity of 5000 mAh are equal to Focus 5G, but the result in PC Mac battery test is weirdly about 2 hours better. Does Nubia V60 design have something that other models don't have? Yes, micro SD slot. What's missing? 5G support. Now for my personal recommendation. Everything is simple here. Nubia Neo 2 5G for gamers on a budget, although it's surprisingly pleasant to use the device. Nubia Focus 5G is for those who like flagship design and high quality camera in the budget phones. And Nubia V60 is for those who just want a budget phone with NFC, but also with memory card support. And that's probably all I have to say. And in the comments, don't forget to write which of these devices you would choose for yourself. Personally, I would obviously choose the more expensive one, but I do not play games on my smartphone and I need to shoot 4K videos time to time. But you? comment, don't be shy. And that's it for me. Like, comment, subscribe, press the bell icon. We need your support as much as we can get. My name is Denis Zaychenko. This is Root Nation channel and I'll see you next time. Take care.